Now, what most people do when they get the 360 file back is they simply click on, well, they'll, they'll set their geometry to projection, front enabled. Usually everything is off when you're doing a regular 3D pop. What's gonna happen is they're gonna send a note saying, hey, how come the wing is missing and half the plane is missing? And that's because they haven't set their point space settings. Remember, there's two things to this. One is having the correct geometry, which you have here. But two is preparing this geometry so that it is correct for points, for the point space setting, and so that it can be read by your laser. And to correct this and convert it to a point cloud, you have to make sure that you use the power of Cockpit 3D. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change the settings here to X-ray. So it essentially will show us points of everything that it sees. And of course, you're gonna have to choose your layers and your Z factors. So normally you're on eight layers. Because this is 360, you might wanna go four or five layers because it's shooting points from many directions. It's going to have a lot more points. So if you do eight layers, increase the probability of cracking.